Hello and welcome back to Michael Brooks and today we will be taking a look at my hashtag help build Mac apocalypse book mock challenge entry Lego movie 2 apocalypse book speeder race. So the fictional background of this mock is that after the events of the first Lego movie um, a group of rich people of Apocalypseburg, or also formerly known as Bricksburg, started a speeder racing league where anybody could enter, they just had to build their own speeders so they could compete against each other. So without further ado, let's take a look at those speeders. So starting off with my sick fix speeder, I think my sick fix turned out awesome. I like how I turned him into an apocalyptic version. And my favorite part about the spear is that little engine at the back. I can show you how I built that. There. So you can see I used these pins. And I just am built negatively. So I just connected these two. That's actually not possible. But I made it possible. I don't know how. It took me a few hours to connect it. Because it won't... I, sorry. It took me a few hours to connect it. Because it just wouldn't connect. But it did work at the end. It also did take me a long time to like decide what accessories I would use at the front. Because I just had so many grey pieces and so many um, things I wanted to put on there. Um, I went for a hook on this side and some binoculars over there. And for the other side I went with these cool pieces. I don't know the name but they look really cool. They look like an engine. And over here you could say that this is like the the starting the engine button that I put there that you can put it up and it reaches exactly my arm which is awesome so you could use it as like a the, the button to start the engine. And that's nothing special about the seat. Um personally I mean the seat does look cool but like there's nothing you could tell is special about the seat. Um, I also used a lot of time to build that cool grip at the front. I think that looks awesome. And like the whole fact that this whole thing is so streamlined. I just really love that about this speeder. Now personally I don't think the second speeder turned out so well. Mainly because I think I didn't add too much detail. It was difficult because I didn't want to copy the styles of both of the speeders because Everybody has to build their own speeders, so I didn't want them to look similar. Though again, I think the grip turned out really, really well, in my opinion. And the figure also. Um, I used um, Axel's headpiece from Nexonite, and I think that fits very well. I also used a, the chain piece at the front, um, just to add a little detail. And again, the hook. On the side, I also have a unicorn piece, or I don't know what you could call it, a cone piece that could destroy speeders if he's like really close to them. And I think that the most simple part is the engine. I tried to make it look like a seat and an engine at the same time, so I don't know if it turned out that well. You guys tell me in the comments below what you think about this speeder. In my opinion, my speeder turned out better, um, but I still like this one. It's not the best, but I still like it. And over here we have the crashed speeder. Here is the driver who's really, really sad that his speeder got crashed. And here's a robot that's trying to salvage what's left of the speeder. In the middle we also have a fire that is burning the rest of the pieces. On the far edge of the mark we have um, four fans of the speeders, or of the drivers. Over here we have these two guys who are supporting the, um, the speeder with the, um, with the Iroquois haircut. I believe that's how you say that. And here, of course, we have these two who are supporting myself. And right next to them, we have a tower that is built out of scrap metal. And on top of that, we also have... You could say he's, he's like, the, the guy that's supposed to hold, like, the checkered flag at the end of a race. But, well, that doesn't exist in Apocalypseburg. So he's just up there and cheering on the drivers. Also at the back of my speeder you can see that there is like a little groove in the sand showing that the um, blast of the engine is um, pushing away the sand or like making a groove in the sand. And at the end of the track we have a finish line or that it was the former gate to the to Bricksburg now known as Apocalypseburg and as you can see it's already been um, put some parts in there that were destroyed and I found a 
then piece that has Lego City printed on it, and that's what I found would fit the best for that archway. But guys, that was it for this mock video. If you enjoyed it, definitely go hit that like button. Also comment down below what you enjoyed about this mock and tell me a, a mock recommendation I should do next. And if you really want to support the channel, then go subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified at all times. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!